I'm delighted to be here and to be able to show you our new wonderful space. And uh, it, it's just such an honor to be uh, the person who's been had the opportunity to uh, decide on uh, what our students, what our students want to look like, what we want them to look like, and then develop a curriculum um, to achieve that in the students, uh, and to serve this area, which is sorely uh, in need of physical therapy services ac across the whole Appalachian region, and certainly in this local area. Um, and as much as I would, uh, you know, kind of take credit for what I've done, um, I, f I feel this is like um, sort of like the Academy Awards. You know, people go up there and they um, accept an award, um, and then they have a litany of folks that they need to thank. And that is certainly the case uh, for me. Without the approval of the Board of Governors and their support, and without St. Mary's uh, overwhelming support uh, in terms of uh, Heading, letting us put together a lease and use the space uh, here, we just would not be um, doing this uh, today. And I want to thank the Huntington community. Uh, th this community has been so um, uh, welcoming. Uh, I felt comfortable everywhere that I've gone. Uh, when you go into a hardware store and someone says, ah, oh, you're the one opening the new program. We need it so badly. We've been wanting it for 20 years. Uh, that's a lot to be said. Uh, the, the Huntington community and this area of Appalachian, uh, Appalachia is so welcoming to total stranger. The group I need to thank the most is the students. Uh, the students for uh, being willing to take a chance on us. Um, we have our candidacy now, but back when they interviewed and accepted positions, we did not have candidacy. Uh, and they were willing to take the risk uh, and come and join us. And now they're a part of, they're a large part of what's going to make this program successful and um, uh, help to get us full accreditation in three years' time, because we have to do that all over again. Uh, in two and a half years, we start the cycle uh, to get full accreditation. So I thank you so very much uh, for believing in us. Today we celebrate uh, a milestone uh, in the history of Marshall University and also a very historic partnership uh, with St. Mary's Medical Center. Um, several years ago, uh, Mike Sellards and I got together and we started talking about uh, establishing a new physical therapy program, uh, School of Physical Therapy here at Marshall University. And uh, time flies when you're having fun. It might have been three years ago. I'm, I lose track of time these days. But um, Mike says, I got something to show you. And so we came over here and we walked through the beautiful facilities that serve the uh, uh, nursing program here that's in concert with Marshall and St. Mary's, the imaging program, and the respiratory therapy program. <clears throat> and you could see what was possible. And then we came through the, do the doors to the other side, and the, uh, the produce sign was still up, the meat <laughs> section was still up, and clearly uh, Big Bear was still alive and well here. Uh, but we all had a vision for what was possible. And today is, is the opening. <clears throat> we share it with everyone else of what happens when you have a compelling vision and all the right people coming in, fitting into uh, making that vision a reality. And, and uh, bringing Penny on as the director of the new School of Physical Therapy was truly the mo one of the most important uh, decisions made in the process. Um, this is not the first physical therapy program I've started in my career or been part of starting. It's all about finding the right people who have a vision for what's possible, who have the passion and the drive for creating something that is truly, uh, I believe, going to be a signature program here at Marshall University uh, under her leadership and with the uh, uh, leadership of the faculty, uh, the students, uh, looking at the caliber of the students who are in the inaugural class, uh, absolutely top-level students. Uh, with this new facility opening, I think we're going to see uh, uh, people knocking down the doors to get into this program. Um, I'm very much honored to be here to get a chance to speak with such distinguished professionals um, and accomplished group professionals as well. Uh, this is, this is an incredible to see the crowd that comes out to support the physical therapy uh, program beginning. 
The West Virginia Physical Therapy Association um, is a component of the American Physical Therapy Association. It was established in 1949 in West Virginia. Um, the principal membership re represents the physical therapists that practice in our state. And our mission is to advance the excellence and quality of physical therapy in West Virginia uh, through advocacy and through education and services to its members and its public. Now, I've been a member of the West Virginia Physical Therapy Association for about 16 years, and I've been a member of the American Physical Therapy Association for 20 years. And in my capacity, um, as one of your physical therapists, I've had the privilege to serve and practice in multiple settings. I've, I've seen patients from everywhere from the emergency room in a hospital all the way through extended care. I've got a chance to work in uh, different outpatient centers. I've got a chance to work in the schools and treat our kids while they're in the school. I've got to see seniors in their homes and seniors in, in their nursing facilities. And by this point, um, with my work with Generations, we have several clinics, so it's, there's a good chance I've worked with somebody you know or love and treated them in physical therapy by this point. And there's been one common um, uh, thing throughout that practice that, that I can say is throughout those 20 years in every practice setting, I have witnessed a shortage of physical therapists in, in our area. So in, in, every, in every setting, there's always been a need, some, a spot for somebody to hire, uh, hire. There's been a waiting list to get somebody in. And we have had a need, and we'll continue to have a need for this program for years to come.